You know, I think it's really important to lead by example. And I think authenticity, transparency, and vulnerability bring people together and help us all to move forward. So this is going to be a moment of that for me. And I'm not sure where this should go. I'm not sure if this should go in an off the cuff or if it should go within a regular episode. I'll have to figure that out. But I've been reflecting back on my mindset episode that I did. It was actually the premiere for season two. And I don't think I quite did that episode as much justice as I would have liked to. Like, I think the episode is really good. But there was a part where I was talking about my mindset and I was talking about my mindset towards finances. And that is still related to the topic because it was about mindset, but it was a lot about finances. And I was like, you know what, maybe I should have just saved that example until I get to the finances pillar. But I couldn't really think of something in the moment where I could give an example of something else I was struggling with with my mindset. But of course, since now the episode's aired and I've had time, I have lots of different areas that have come up. And I really wonder, should I re-record it? So I don't know if I'm going to re-record it or not. I mean, I don't re-record episodes, but that was just bothering me. Anyways, for now, this is the solution. We'll see if anything happens after. I guess this is probably going to have to be an off-the-cuff because this is becoming a ramble. But the point is, something I've kind of been struggling with around my, in that's impacting my mindset is in relation to perceived credibility, I guess. I don't know. I'm literally processing this with you as I'm talking it through. But I'm very confident in my coaching. I'm very confident in my public speaking. I'm very confident in my workshops. I do a great job at all of those. I'm really talented in those areas. For whatever reason, and actually there's probably several reasons, like I have a very tiny social media following, okay? I'll be very transparent. My podcast following uh, on Instagram is 94 followers, okay? And on my personal account, it's, I think, 312. So both are pretty small. And so sometimes, and and the thing is, if you know me, you know, I don't care about that stuff. Like I really could, I would be happy to delete Instagram off my phone and never go on it for the rest of my life. I do not care. However, when I'm applying for a conference or to speak somewhere, or even if I'm guesting on someone else's podcast, sometimes they ask you how many followers you have. And sometimes they look at that number to decide if they even want to work with you. So they're not judging you based on the quality of what you can produce, what you can say, the transformation you can have for the audience, the impact you can have. Sometimes they're literally just judging you based on this following. And that's really hard for me to reconcile because A, that doesn't make sense. You should judge people based off the work and the impact that they're doing. But I understand that this is a superficial world and and sometimes people do make decisions based off you know, metrics and numbers. But B, it's like, I don't, I I haven't leaned into those areas to make them as best they can be. And truthfully, it's just not my strong suit. So th- it kind of leads me in a bind. I'm like, do I just stay here forever? And the answer is no. So if something is not your strong suit, what do you do? You outsource or get help. So working on that right now. But I think, Sometimes then I feel like, oh, Natalie, you have such few followers or you don't have a ton of ratings on your podcast or, um, you know, you don't have as many listeners who subscribe and like those things can throw me off, which is why I truly try to avoid looking at these numbers in the first place. But sometimes they catch my eye or sometimes I, I happen to click on the wrong button, even though I've been trying so hard to avoid it. I click on the button and then now I'm confronted with this data. But it's good. I think sometimes it's good to be confronted with things that make us uncomfortable and then we have to just learn to be uncomfortable. I think that's a really good skill in life to have and just a process that everyone's got to go through. But anyway, so for some reason, this following or this maybe, you know, less numbers and, and whatever that than what maybe other people would want. Sometimes it makes me feel like I shouldn't have opportunities. But then 
Because remember, when you have a limiting belief, you have to combat it with evidence. So you have to go and see, is there evidence that points otherwise? And the evidence is, I'm still getting opportunities. I'm still doing what I want. Like I've guessed, I've guested, is, is that a word? I've been a guest on several other podcasts. I've had several speaking engagements, including paid speaking engagements. I already have a few lined up in the next couple months and potentially more after that. So, you know, and those just came to me and they didn't come to me because of social media. They came to me either because of someone I knew or just through networking and stuff like that. My name was still brought up. My name was still mentioned. So that's all to say that, you know, even though I might feel some type of way about not having these followers and stuff, again, not because I care, but because other people care. And then that still impacts me. At the end of the day, I'm still getting opportunities to do what I want to do. So, you know, this is the struggle that I go through. So sometimes you've just got to combat the evidence and be vulnerable even with your own self and then see where can you work on it and like, what is my issue with these numbers? Why does it, why does it mean so much to me? A number is just a number. So I got to get over that. I'm going to work on that. I got to go coach myself. Actually, no, I have a coach. Okay. So my coach can help me with that issue. Until next time, continue to serve yourself, your loved ones, and your communities from a full cup.